Ah, look at that. We are on top. And we did it three times in a row. True, we lost the time trial, but hey, that's more experience and we didn't lose anything for it. Except for our respect, of course. Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here and we're off for more of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And in the last episode, we built our gummy ship and messed with our colours with the spray can. And afterwards, tested out a warp gummy to come back to Olympus Coliseum where the Phil Cup... Yeah, great name, Phil. ...has been launched and, well, we competed. And not only that, we reaped the rewards. We got a few abilities, we got tons of experience, and we also got the gravity spell, which is going to be help helping out way later on in the game. But hey, we're done here for now. There's nothing else we can do. So, we are going to fly off to New Worlds, and we are right next to a warp, warp hole. Now, the thing is, if you do not actually fly into it when you've actually set your course to it, You'll just completely bypass it and go straight to the next world. Yeah, you may not want to do that. And notice that we can't use the warp drive to go through warp holes. It's too... It's got too much turbulence in order to do it. And plus, it's going to spit us out somewhere and we haven't been there yet. So, we can't use the warp... Uh, the warp gummy. So, without further ado, we're blasting off. So basically, if you guys skipped the uh, gummy ship building in the last episode for whatever reason, all I did was, with my spray gummy that I brought in the episode before, when we were in Traverse Town, when we sealed the keyhole, is that I brought a spray gummy, or a spray tool, to change my colours, and I just basically swapped the, the colours for the proper one for this, for the original version of the blueprint that we have. And then I just changed a few other blocks around to give ourselves a tad more armour. Didn't do a lot, but you know, every little bit helps. And yeah, other than that, everything is the same, and I didn't realise I was spamming the, uh, <laughs> my laser. But hey, here's the warp hole. Looks suspicious. Maybe it leads to another world. Oh wait, I was doing Chip's voice there, but that was Dale. Excuse me. Oops. But yeah, notice that we have now just gone into a completely new location. There is stuff everywhere, and I could not grab that, um, well, I couldn't grab that one either, it was too far off screen. Thankfully, these are all the same ship, so I can grab their blueprint eventually. Is that a new blueprint? Oh, I couldn't grab it. Dang it, it was too far off screen again. Yeah, um, if you want blocks that are too far out of reach, you're not going to be able to grab them. Maybe there's something that will help us grab them later on. And I do realise I'm being way too trigger happy with my uh, laser, but <laughs> I only get 30 shots off. But hey, it's fine. Our side shots do still do decent damage, and I can angle them. I'm not... A stranger to Are You a Wizard from The Binding of Isaac. Oh, we got an imp uh, blueprint as well there. I'm not even intending to grab all this stuff, it's just getting in the way. And as I've said before, the special recovers everything with just the one block collected, which is pretty helpful. Every time you go through a warp hole, these passageways are the same until we segue onto the actual route that actually is part of the level. So, when the music changes... We're now back onto the main thing, and those asteroids just appear out of nowhere, but that's because we came out of the warp hole. So, all that, you know, just loading issues, I don't know. So yeah, these are basically just massive obstacles, and you can tell it's getting really messy with all of the debris just floating around. And as you notice here, these red blocks that we can't break easily, if we could break those a lot easier with better weapons, because I've got the best weapons equipped at the moment, we might be able to actually earn more points. And that's why I haven't tried going for mission one, heading to Olympus Coliseum to get 180 points. But hey! We're at Agrabah! Let's just hope that we don't get hot and bothered, considering that we're entering, well, I would like to say the summer at this point. <laughs> but yeah, not a fan of desert levels. This level's okay. It's actually quite platforming heavy. But yes. We are in the world of Aladdin. And the keyhole? The Heartless are searching for it now. I'm certain we'll find it soon enough. So that just leaves... <coughs> Jafar, I've looked everywhere for Jasmine. She disappeared like magic. <laughs> the girl is more trouble than she's worth. You said you had things under control. Agrabah is full of holes for rats to hide in. Street rats, perhaps? But why worry about Princess Jasmine? 
With her or without her, surely this world will be ours when we find the keyhole. We need all seven princesses of heart to open the final door. Any fewer is useless. Well, if the princess is that important, we'll find her. Find Jasmine and bring her to me at once. Oh, look, Heartless based off the guards in the movie. Don't steep yourself in darkness too long. The Heartless consume the careless. <laughs> Your concern is touching, but hardly necessary. Oh, there she is. Kind of a bit close there, aren't you, Princess? Not only that, but... You're hiding behind a stool. Remember what happened last time you went to a stool? You almost got your hand chopped off. As soon as we load in, we get bombarded. That's helpful. We got shadows. They're now taking a little bit more abuse, but we can still knock them out of one combo. Do realise that we've... Oh, we found a blaze gem. Yeah, so we've got... We've got, like, heartless that are similar in design to the guards of the movie. And, again, because of the weird signal issue that I'm having with my component wires, I'm getting purple blotches all over the sand, and yet, you guys are not. Yep, I just had to look at uh, the recording just to be on the safe side that I wasn't going silly. Oh, Mega Potion. That's nice. But, yeah, why is it that when Maleficent talks, she has an echo, but no one else does? Kind of strange. Well, we can go out to the desert. Don't know what that will do for us right now. So, yeah, we enter here. But that's not the world exit. Interesting. We've got a lot of chests around here. Yeah, considering that, you know, Agrabah is known to have a lot of, uh, like, beggars and street rats around the place. There are chests just lying around with goodies that they could easily sell for a good 200 money. In this, what, game's currency, anyway. Kind of weird that they won't take advantage of that. What's in here? Storage. It's not even locked, but then again we have a key, so let's just bash these barrels and get some money. Because why not? Every little bit helps. Pots only take one hit, but the barrels take a f combo finisher, as per usual. We've also got ourselves a save point here, so if we want to return to the gummy ship we can do it from here. Another green trinity and a chest we can't actually open. It's a shame we can't just whack it like we just did right there, and it just pops open and we get the item. We have to actually press triangle and tap it lightly on the top. Getting a lot of Mega Potions, though. That's not bad. Nice little provisions for the uh, trip outdoors in the squeltering heat. Yeah, but the thing is about the pots and the barrels around here, once you've broken them once, they won't drop money or items again. So, yeah, we can't exactly abuse that to farm money, but hey, we've got more Heartless to deal with. Let's just shot give them a good shock. And that guy just did a freaking screw attack at me. How rude. Get all the money. Should really leave the uh, pots too later. Wow. Whack you in the face. Oh, another blaze gem. So these are not stones or shards or just, you know, blaze. You know, like how Mithril doesn't say anything after that. These are gems. These are pretty high grade stuff. And oh my god, pots are alive. We can't even break pots anymore. The thing is, though, they still drop money, so still worth to knock out. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, just one. Oh, just a bunch of shadows in the corner that I was nowhere near. Fair enough. Lucid shard. Well, since we, the players, know that Jasmine was behind there, she's obviously moved. So really, Saw and Goofy don't really know what to do. They're just exploring the world, really. <laughs> They have no clue on what they're supposed to do. Let's check the journal here. Let's actually see the true name of those Heartlesses. I mean, how does Jimmy even come up with these names? Pot Spider. And a Bandit. Yeah, I guess that works. I mean, obviously, they to me, they look like the soldiers. And I like the Cutlasses. They're actually really, like, well animated with those Cutlasses. It's so smooth. Even for 30 frames, because remember, this is PS3, not PS4. So. And even then, if it was on the PS4, I can't record 60 frames, because the Voxio don't do that unless it's composite and everything else. So, yeah, we're in Aladdin's house. We don't even know who Aladdin is, but we know what the location is. That carpet's not having a good time. We'll help him out in a moment. Let's tap this open and get some... Get a scissors G. 
Sorry, I'm going to have to look that up. I don't think I've ever used that. I guess because when I'm let's play in the game, I'm noticing blocks that I don't normally use. Well, it's not there. Scissors G, a decorative pair of gloves. Why is it gloves? When it's called scissors. And once again, we can't actually see what they look like unless we're actually in the gummy garage. So let's move this off the carpet because he's freaking out. Hello. And he's off. The carpet for off the desert. But let's explore the city more. Fair enough. Looks like we had to do that, but we're not done here yet. Got a mega elixir. That's helpful. I don't actually think I've talked about mega elixirs since we've had them. Mega elixirs are basically full hit. We're basically an elixir, but it's for everybody. So it recovers all HP and all MP. It's basically um, a cottage, but you can use it in battle. It's pretty much the same thing. Right, so there's nothing that we can actually break in here because nothing's targetable. We can jump out of the window, but then we'll just be back to where we just were. So let's go down this way, back to the plaza. Back to our starting position. And we don't want to fall down there. But what if we platform over these? And we want to be quick because otherwise they'll slam on us. Oh, they didn't. Oh, hello! And if I do this? Oh, I didn't hit them. I hate when they're in the ground. That doesn't actually kill them in one hit. And I can't turn the camera, so I can't see where this other shadow is. It's falling down. Okay. Would have been nice to know, but I couldn't turn the camera. Alright, I guess Don and Goofy have taken care of it. There's a chest behind that pot. Yep. More pot spiders! And because they're enemies, combo finishers will not take them out in one hit. And we gotta be we got to wait until we're out of battle in order to open the chest. Where is this enemy? I can't actually lock on it. I keep knocking onto the chest. Alright, they're not targeting it for some reason. Guys, I can't open this chest until you do something with that enemy. I can't even... Bugger it. Just do it. See what happens. If the shadow is down there. I can't hit him. Mm. I hate it when this happens. Donald, would you just dr Okay, it finally fled. Good lord. I hate it when that happens where an enemy is out of reach and you don't want to jump down and kill it because then you have to leave the area, come back in and get back here. Just because an enemy just refuses to leave you be, even though he can't hit you. Oh, it was actually part of this platform. You douche nozzle. But there we go, we solved that issue now at least. Problem is, he won't respawn unless, you know, you're in the right spot for it. Did you just say question mark, question mark, question mark? Hello, this isn't your house. What are you doing in here? Yeah, it's two says Aladdin's house. Oh, we're barely scraping by. I think this is the only other time within the game that you're actually able to buy items outside of Traverse Town. And yet, we don't really need anything. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I don't really need anything from you. I'm just going to jump out of the window. <laughs> so we still can't find Jasmine. Or anyone else for that matter. That's you. So I guess we just keep platforming and exploring. I guess. Yeah, so Agrabah is kind of a weirdly designed town here. It's kind of like one just one long pillar. I mean, I guess that's what it, like, what of areas, like a corridor, but I guess that's what it is in the movie in a way. So I guess it's a good representation, but at the same time, it's not really that much of a city if it's just one straight corridor of areas. We haven't been in the alleyway yet, so let's check this area. Hello? Your previous hiding spot was better. And that was the, that, yeah, two, two, three words of dialogue. Okay then. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm Jasmine. My father is the Sultan of Agrabah. Oh, so that makes you a princess. But he has been dis, dis, deposed by Jafar, who now controls the city. So he did use his staff to control the Sultan. Makes sense. Didn't do that in the movie until he already had the genie, which was kind of strange. I always found that weird. Jafar? You haven't heard of him? He's the royal vizier. He gained evil powers and seized Agrabah. He already had evil powers before controlling the Heartless. I think you're a little bit late on the get-up. He's desperately looking for something. Something he calls the Keyhole. 
Funny how you seem quite bewildered, considering there's one right above where you were hiding. <laughs> there's clearly one right there. Obviously, that's not the right one, because that's just out in the open, but still. You'd think that she would be at least like, why is he so bewildered? There's one right there. <laughs> Jafar caught me trying to escape, but he helped me. Who helped you? You were hiding nearby, but he left a while ago to take care of something. Stop playing the pronoun game, just tell us. Oh, well, you hope Aladdin's all right. There we go. Aladdin. Where might I find this street rat? And now we're back to voice acting. Jasmine, allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear princess. These little rats won't do you see. Jasmine, run! Saw's mouth didn't move! Ah, the boy who holds the key. Yeah, I don't think Heartless are better company. In fact, they're not even people. They're just evil creations of walking darkness blobs that are just wearing clothes and wielding scimitars. It's like... <laughs> what do you mean, better company? And he just runs off, and I don't know why the camera's on the wonk. Look at that. Everything's on the wonk here. I don't remember the, this area being like this. This is really off-putting. It's making me w feel weird. Well, we can actually... Why... Why did that... Why did that block just break underneath this block? No one whacked it. It just fell through the floor. That was strange. At least we can still get up here, at least, without reloading the area. But yeah, a lot of these barrels are kind of l blocking off pathways. In fact, this would be the plaza that we were in before. Or the main street that we were in. If we could, like, move these blocks somehow, or if someone moves them, we'll be able to get through a lot easier in this area. But Jasmine's just bolted off, and... Yeah. I don't know why we had those two, three words of, di of voice acting dialogue. Go to text boxes, and then go back to voice acting within the same scene. Why can they not have voice acted those lines? That don't make sense to me. It, it wouldn't have been that much... Uh, difficulty to do. And Sora sticks the key the keyblade in the wrong way. He put the he put the pole in the line and the line in the circle. It's like what? Sora, don't you know how to use a key? It's like literally one for one. But yeah, he just sticks the key in the keyhole, and we've now opened up uh, one of those gates that we couldn't get through previously. Very helpful. Very nice. Yeah, I guess we just gotta continue exploring the city then. See what we can do. Maybe Jafar's hiding somewhere. Hello, more pots. We'll go through here now, and we can actually, if I get the jump correctly, here! there we are, another pop, break you, jump over here, and we could have actually done this a lot earlier if we went down this pole in a land's house, but, you know, intended for you to do it in this way, because then we can grab this, and then we're pretty much back to where we started, let's jump down, can't go to the palace still, but we did help um, that carpet. And if you remember, she said, I do hope Aladdin's all right. If you went to, you know, Aladdin's house to see what happened and you knew that it was Aladdin's house now, you would help the carpet and you could go out. So I did that out of order, but you're told to explore the city once you rescue him anyway. So you put the dots together and he headed out to the desert. Actually, can I see if the plane is actually just a... No, nah, it actually spawns on way further than I thought. I thought I saw the corner of the, of like the desert floor, but that was just me imagining things. Hello. So yeah, this is the screen that you would have been at if we went into the desert. If you literally go anywhere, you'll just be heading back to Agrabah if you go too far. It's kind of like you know the, the haunted wasteland in Ocarina of Time. If you go too far out of the area that you're supposed to, like you just void out, you pretty much go back to the entrance. In this case it will take you back to town, but it's still the same concept. And because of that, this is the only time you can actually use this save point, and yeah, it doesn't take you back to the, uh... and th not only that, but you can't even see Agrabah anywhere! How far did we actually go before finding the carpet? That's ridiculous. Want us to come along? All aboard! I haven't actually changed Goofy's shield yet, but that's not really that big of an issue at this point. We've got arrow, we've got cure, we've got gravity. We're actually missing only one spell. Oh dear, that's not good. Stuck in a sinkhole. Oh, well, Abu just died. 
and about uh, Aladdin just froze. And in fact, they're not even there anymore. And these guys are coming out of the sand. That's not helpful at all. Right. Shocking, isn't it? Yeah, Donald, call them off. They kind of need it in the desert. I mean, right now it's night time, so maybe not. Maybe we need to actually light things up. That might be helpful. Give them some nice toasty buns. Alright, knock you out. Knock you out. Oh, Donald, max MP up. He got an additional block of magic. And in turn, his magic becomes stronger. There we go. And we're done. Or oh, are we? Because I can't actually move. <laughs> That took a while. <laughs> Gorge, not again. Wait, how did you just stand up out there? I didn't see Saw give you a hand. Genie, get rid of these guys. <laughs> Wish number one coming right up. Thanks, Homer. See. <laughs> Thanks, Sora. Aladdin, what are you doing out here? Same old stuff, hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. Okay, I'm gonna pause right now. How? Isn't Jafar supposed to have both the pieces and lead you there and, you know, then sue you in? I mean, the Cave of Wonders wasn't even there and... Even though you weren't trapped in, you were in a sinkhole outside because of the Heartless. And you just paid a visit to there on your own accord? This is very loosely following the plot of the movie. I found that magic carpet. And this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can summon... Please, with... kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only genie of the lamp. Rub it up, dub the lamp, and have your dearest wishes granted. His winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. I will rush. Patience, my fine feathered friend. Any three wishes. Oh, one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and split. A lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. So he has two left! So, Master, what do you have for wish number two? That hand movement to Donald, though. How about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! Money, royalty, fame! Why didn't I do that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred candles loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less or your meal free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this girl in Agrabah named Jasmine. But she's a princess. And I'm... Ah, she could never fall for a guy like me. Princess? Jasmine? Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. What? Well, come on, let's get going. I don't think that's what Donald and Goofy were going for, but at least Sora was right on the money in terms of her life being in danger. I will give kudos to Sora on that. It's like, oh, right, she's on the run. We gotta, that's why we came to find you in the first place. But yeah, and yeah, that that that's the voice of Homer. That's not... Robin Williams, he, he like, he, I mean, I know that he's, like, famous in Disney for, like, doing Flubber and the Genie in, Al in, Al in Aladdin, but if you remember what happened with Disney, they kind of, like, went a bit overboard with the marketing of, of, of Aladdin and having Genie take up more than one third of the box of any promotional art, and that's what, um, Robin Williams didn't want, he wanted it to be one third, but they just, like, had the genie for the whole bloody thing, like, way out of proportion. It wasn't even subtle. It's not even, like, subtly larger or more percentage, like, 33% or 50%. It was literally almost the whole thing that was advertised with the genie to make people buy the movie because of Robin Williams. And, yeah. And Homer's done freaking, you know, Don Gazzanel. He's done, like, the genie way more than Robin Williams anyway. I would say that he's actually more known for both Homer and the genie than Robin Williams is for the genie. Just saying. 
not trying to bring up anything bad about it. I mean, Robin Williams is good, your rest is soul, but still. But yeah, we got Aladdin. And I am going to switch him out for Goofy, actually. I'm going to move Goofy out. The reason being is because Donald is now useful because he has Cure. That means we have two Cures. This does mean, however, that we can't do any Trinities, but we don't really need to worry about that right now. Ah! Fresh air, the great outdoors! I guess you don't get out much, huh? Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers, itty bitty living space. Yep. It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. At least it's a nice lamp. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the lamp? What do you think? You do that? Genie, it's a promise. After we help Jasmine. At least let us use it for all the wishes first. Let's just wish ourselves to be level 100 and b wish to banish the darkness. Find the keyhole. Like, you know, just... What? Yeah, why don't we just wish for, like, everything to be all done, all the worlds restored? I mean, if it's infinite cosmic powers, that's kind of a squandered thing right now. So it should be like, hey, we're supposed to be saving the worlds and ending the, like, like, vanquishing the darkness and all that, by the way, HP up for Sora. So, why can't you not be just like, hey, can I just borrow that lamp for a minute? I just want to make one wish, and it's actually kind of a big one, and you'll thank me later. I wish for all of the Heartless in all worlds to be gone. Use the second wish to, like, see all the keyholes already. The third wish, make sure everyone's all fine and dandy or something stupid. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less, or your meal's free! Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. Oh, one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and see it. Maybe the, the genie can't do world peace or something like that, but at least he could help out. Like, do something toward that. But at the same time, it'll be like, why not give Sora the lamp now? You're squandering things. You have a being with infinite cosmic power, and I'm pretty sure the genie will be like, well, at least then we won't have to pull out the death by darkness and losing people's hearts and all that, and possibly my even my home land getting destroyed. But, you know, now I'm just nitpicking. But I think I'm gonna end it off here for now, because as we saw when we entered, that was the main entrance is boarded up. We're gonna have to find another way in. Looks like uh, Jafar's trying to block our progress, because since we've gone to help rescue Aladdin, he knows that he's gonna be able to corner Jasmine a lot easier, and therefore, we can't get through, so we're going to have to make our way through this place. But, until then, see you guys next time. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can summon... Please, the kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only Genie of the Lamp! Rub it up, dub the lamp and have your dearest wishes granted. Today's winner is Aladdin! Congratulations! I'm a rush!